my name is David Buckingham. I'm a British academic, researcher, teacher, educator, teacher, um, and I'm the author of this book, The Manifesto for Media Education. Um, in the UK, the book looks like this. Um, in Brazil, it looks like this, much more beautiful, I think. Um, I thought it would be useful to tell you a bit about um, the context of this book um, and really what motivated me to, to write it in the first place. I've been teaching about media um, for my whole career. I've been a media educator. Um, and I think important to say that media education for me means teaching about media. It's not just about teaching with media or through media. It's not about educational technology or educational media. It's about teaching about media and how media work. We have a history of this in the UK. You can look back to the 1930s and you can find examples of people arguing and presenting proposals for teaching about advertising, the cinema, popular literature. And then if we come forward to the 60s and 70s, the focus shifts more to television and then computer games and the Internet and so on. Um, media studies as a subject is um, a separate subject taught at the top end of secondary schools. Media education is also a dimension of English mother tongue language teaching. And I think important to say that media education is also both a critical and a creative endeavour. So it's about enabling um, students to make their own media creatively, but also enabling them to critically understand the media and how they work. I wrote the book really because at the moment I think we're rather on the back foot. Um, there's been a lot of talk um, uh, in the UK and I think internationally about something called media literacy. Um, a lot of that talk comes out of communications policy. And I think the sense is that it's becoming harder and harder um, to regulate media. So what we need to do is to empower people to regulate their own use of media, to become informed consumers of media. Now, that's all very well. But frankly, I think a lot of it is just talk. There's a lot of hot air. And if we really want to have media literacy as a basic entitlement for the population, we actually need media education. We need there to be sustained, systematic programmes of education happening in schools and in other education institutions. There's been a lot, obviously, of emphasis on technology in schools, but my feeling is that a lot of that is quite instrumental. It's about using computers and other um, digital devices as tools for teaching. But in the process, my argument is if we're going to use those devices, we also need to talk about and teach about how these media represent the world, how these media work as systems of communication. I think more recently, we've also become caught up in the rightward drift of education policy. Um, I think this is something that's affecting all humanities, social science subjects. I think in many ways in Britain, we're going backwards in our understanding of education and in the curriculum. So my focus in this book was partly to make the case again, to make the argument again, but also to look to the future, um, to think about the digital media, social media that now surround us. How can we take those approaches from the past and apply them to these new and emerging media? How do we have to um, extend media education? How do we develop it? How do we perhaps need to, to rethink it to take account of changing realities? Mm -hmm.